Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a filter like this which will turn your camera image into a pencil sketch. So let's start. So let's create this filter which will turn your camera image into a pencil sketch here in the Spark AR Studio. At first we have to import an asset and we can find this asset here in the asset library. So just open the asset library and then search for Sobel. After the search you will find this Sobel filter batch asset. Just click on it and then import it for free. After the download you can find it here in the assets bundle. The next thing we have to do is to extract our camera texture. For this go to the scene, click on camera, go to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to texture extraction. After you have done this you can find the camera texture here in the assets bundle um, yeah, at the camera texture. So the next step is to open our patch editor. When the patch editor is open, we can yeah, start programming the filter. At first, we will import our patches, our assets to the patch editor. For this, just drag and drop the server filter into the patch editor and the camera texture into the patch editor. So the next thing we have to import to the patch editor is our device patch. For this, go to the scene and then just drag and drop the device object into the patch editor. So now you will find this um, yeah, device patch here in your patch editor. The next thing is we need a few other patches, um, for example the divide patch and also the swizzle patch. After you have imported them, just yeah, drag and drop it into place. And the last step we have to do is to add a material where we can yeah, apply our sober filter to. For this just click on add asset, new material and then yeah just call the material sobel. So um, click on the material, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Also change the blend mode from alpha to subtract. So now it is important that you extract the uh, material to the patch editor. For this go to diffuse texture and click on the little arrow next to texture. Now you will find um, uh, the diffuse texture patch in your patch editor. So now we can start programming the filter. The first thing is to wire up here the patches in the correct way. So the RGBA output of the camera texture goes into the texture input of the Sobel filter. Then the screen size output of the device goes into the first value of the divide patch and the screen scale output goes in the second value of the divide patch. Then um, the output of the divide patch um, goes to the texture size input of the Sobel filter. Now and the Sobel filter output goes to the input of the value at the swizzle patch and the output of this patch goes into the Sobel input diffuse texture. So now this is all correctly wired up. The next thing is to, yeah, to add a new object and make sure the swizzle patch has here an X at the swizzle value. So <laughs> now add a new object, a rectangle object, two rectangle objects. And then make sure that both rectangle objects um, fill the width and the height of the whole screen. So do this for both and then um, yeah, attach the materials to it. So rectangle 1, the yeah, first rectangle will get the Sobel material and now you can already see some sketches here going on but yeah the background is not white so we will change this so add a new asset a new material change the shader type to flat and yeah the color is um, white so if you want it in a, uh, another color just change it but i will leave it white so the next thing is just go to the rectangle that hasn't um, a material yet and set the material to the just created material and now you will see your filter looks like a sketch and we are ready and have done this filter successfully. If I could help you with this tutorial it would be nice if you give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!